You are listening to Free Sense a Minute, an adult podcast for those that are 18 or older. If you're not 18, shut this the bleep off. It's all about sex, sex, sex. Everybody, this is Kelly, and um, I am here today to talk about something that Maggie had talked about mm, a little while ago. Some of her more interesting phone sex calls. But first, I just want to like completely throw some kudos Maggie's way. Have you been checking out the site? Holy hell, there is so much that she's got going on, and honestly, I cannot take the credit for it. She is of that um, wonderful age where she's so fucking computer savvy, and, you know, I, I create an Excel spreadsheet and get really proud of myself because, <laughs> yeah, that's really where I am. Or, you know, I, I start a new blog that's not dirty, or it's, it's you know, or I upload photos of a family event and go like, woohoo, me, I just did something on the computer. And she's just amazing with that. So if you're not following us on Twitter, do that because she's got some cool shit there. Um, and that's free sense a minute right on Twitter. And it's without the E because for some reason Twitter limits the amount of of space for names. I don't know why. They just do. So free sense a minute without the E. It's always fun to follow because there are some really cool videos up there, um, some YouTube things, all kinds of stuff. So definitely follow us on Twitter. The membership page is really cool. So definitely check that out. Um, and then she has buttons for affiliates or people that were affiliates of for Hustler Cash. And um, that's pretty cool. If you like, you know, your little bits of porn, you can do that through us back page, which is really kind of a fun little thing to click on that and, and look at it. I had never heard of back page until Maggie told me about it. See what a difference just like a little over 10 years can do <laughs> that whole decade and a half. Yeah. So see what happens when you're 40 and you don't know all these naughty, naughty things. Although my husband does know a lot more about this this stuff. So, yeah, I'll have to tie him up one day and tease him and torment him until he tells me everything. All the mysteries of the Internet. But Miss Maggie is awesome with that. So kudos to her. Absolutely. Well, in her um, one of her last few podcasts, because I've been away, um, she actually um, had talked about interesting phone sex calls. And she and I have been talking about that. Some really interesting calls. What makes them actually interesting? And how do you rank them? <laughs> how do you rank them? And um, for me, I made a list. Of course I did, because that's really, that's really what I do. I make a list. I cross it off. I'm very structured, ridiculously so. And it works for me. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about my phone sex list and then I'm going to tease the hell out of you <laughs> all right um if I'm ranking these in number from I want to say not least interesting to best but probably uh just I would say definitely my most interesting phone call would be the last one that I'm going to read. Kind of save the best one for last. But it's really hard to quantify or qualify why one is better than the other because they're all so very different. So here we go. So in my number five position, um, I have a guy who, oh my goodness, this is going back about uh, five years or so, I want to say. And I was working for a different company than I'm working for now. And he loved it when I would pee. So we'll get into that, and I'll tell you all about that and the fun names that he used to call me. And he was just a fucking awesome call because <laughs> I drink a lot, so I have to pee a lot. And this let me, oh, I'll get into it later, but it really let me just have fun with it. Um, in the fourth place position was a gender-fluid person who did a role play with himself. And this got really, really interesting on very many levels. And it was always an hour-long call 
much like a therapy session. And um, only for the last 15 minutes did I get a chance to speak. So we'll go into that one, too. Um, ranking in the number three position was the suicide guy. Now, I say that, and this was a cam call. And all that I'm going to tease you with was that he had this lime green plastic squirt gun. That's it. It was hysterical. So we'll go through that one. Now I'm going to go even morbid. My second most interesting call, I want to say of all times, and Maggie touched on this a little bit, where there was a guy who had the very ornate fantasy who in the end killed her. (laughs) For some reason, this is my, mine is the death guy. Not the Death Star, but the Death Guy. And our call started with me being killed. And so it was very, very interesting to do the rest of the call being dead. So we'll go into that one, but that'll be my my second most, I guess, interesting. And in the number one position, my number one most interesting phone sex call deals with a blow-up doll. Mm Mm-hmm, a blow-up doll. But the very interesting thing is, is how the blow-up doll was used. But here comes the tease. I'll only go through a few of these or a couple of these at at a time. So you're just going to have to come back and listen some more. And whenever I put these in, hmm, you'll just have to love them and listen to them and wait for them. Maybe you could send an email to me, Kelly, with an IE at freesenseaminute.com. And do a little bit of begging, because I do so love the begging. And maybe I'll get them up there faster. See, I am a little teasing bitch, aren't I? Uh Uh-huh. So, let's get started. We'll do the fifth most interesting and the fourth most interesting. I think that'll do me just fine. And if I run a little bit short, I'll get into the uh, squirt gun guy. (laughs) Oh my goodness, have I mentioned that I love my job and how interesting it absolutely is? It is just, it is crazy. It is, it is just crazy sometimes. Now, I picked the P guy because, oh, how do I put this? I picked him because I think that it was a day I was drinking a lot. It was really hot. It was a summertime thing. I had just started working at one company. And I'm telling you, I drink iced tea. I drink water. I drink, you know, the no-calorie Powerades. I drink all kinds of stuff. I don't drink alcohol, though. (laughs) So I had been drinking and drinking and drinking. And when you um, are doing phone sex... You have to be really careful, you know, because if some guy's just masturbating and you've got to pee, you kind of have to talk really, you know, oh my goodness, yes, stroke it for me, yes, that's right, I want you to do it harder, harder, more, more, oh yeah, and you kind of have to keep it up without even breathing if you have to pee. And there are all kinds of tricks, like, you know, fold up a paper towel and pee through it if you really have to do it, oh my goodness, but this one was just hysterical. The gentleman, and he truly was, in my mind, and and I know people, um, either through content or whatever, definitely get a picture of who they're talking to on the phone. Maybe sometimes you don't. At this company, you did not. So it was kind of both left up for our, um, to our own imaginations. And he just seemed to be like this dapper, older gentleman. I want to say in his 60s late 50s to mid 60s I would guess you know based on his voice and the things that he knew oh and he just loved loved and had actually had this like this way of chronicling um and writing down and talking about the people who were the best pissers and that's why he called us and one day we hooked up on the phone because his regular pisser was not available and he figured that I would do